Hi, from Florida. I've been taking this dog for walks. Say hi, Rio. Yeah, whatever. And I, just things come to mind. While I'm walking, I was thinking about the poor. And I was thinking about um, how the church is allowing the government to influence how we tend to the poor, how we give to the poor, how we judge the poor. Like, Jesus had a lot to say about the poor, and he was on their side. And he wasn't there making sure he judged them and said, uh, make them sign papers and follow rules. And, you know, why is the FDA in our churches handing out food and we're, we're letting people sign their papers? before we say they're allowed to receive charity. And then if they don't follow the government's made up rules, we call them criminals and crooks and say they're cheating. When Jesus just says, feed them. This really is not hard. And we all need to wake up to how evil the enemy is and how he's working through the government to control people's perceptions and attitudes and feelings and thoughts. It's not all right to be going around saying, we should drug test welfare recipients and we should make everybody sign on the dotted line and say if they're a household or not a household. Okay, am I the only one who's noticed there's a double standard? Corporations and governments, can they can make up their rules to suit their needs. Banks, you're a household if you're supporting somebody and they're on your dependence of money. So it's all run by money. Okay, so you go by their rules one way, when you file your taxes, you're a household or not. You can have several households in one house building if people are related by birth, by marriage, by common law marriage. You're deciding you're a head of household and these people are your dependents and another person's filing separately and you follow by all these rules of how you file of being a household or not. But then when you go to a church to receive charity, they say how many people are living in your house building and you're a criminal because you're not uh, declaring income from these other people who we're saying they're in your household but really according to the IRS they're not your you know they will play the rules against you every which way and say they're righteous and holy and you're not and the church is buying it this is what's wrong the world's gonna do what the world's gonna do they're corrupt they don't have Jesus but when you bring that mess in the church and say, oh, I'm giving you handouts from the Food and Drug Administration in the name of Jesus and make people sign on a line and say how much money they make and what people live in the house with them. Where did Jesus do that? Where did Jesus ask people, you know, we'll give you bread and, and fish, but, you know, are you lying about who you live with and how many people make money in your house? Where is that in the Bible? This is not biblical. Jesus stood up for the poor. He loved the poor. You know why? They're not part of the world system. They're not raping and murdering people. They're not lying and thieving. They're not anti-Christ. They're just people living. And because of money, the world system says they don't have value. And God says they're fearfully and wonderfully made, and they're made in the image of God. We need to ask ourselves, uh, why are we letting the Food and Drug Administration get in our heart? and speak through our mouth and let us say, oh, the people coming to our church are criminals and they're cheating the system. Why are you part of the system? Why don't you receive freely and give freely? Hello, is anybody out there listening? Mammon is behind all of that mess. Just give people food when they're hungry. Give people food. Help them out. Don't ask questions. Be led by the Holy Spirit. If you don't feel like giving somebody something, don't. But if you do, give it freely. Don't make people sign on the line and follow your rules. And if, and if uh, they don't measure up to some government standard made up by a bunch of liars, don't call them crooks. You can find yourself on the wrong side. In that argument, when you stand before God, This is a big deal. It's a really big deal. Why is the Food and Drug Administration in the church? Think about it.